Welcome to part 4. I will show you how to build the floor section of the Sidekick. Let's get started. The floor is located on the lower rear section of the Sidekick frame. This is all the PVC pipes and fittings needed to build the floor section. Each piece is cut, square, clean, labeled, and ready to be assembled. One one and a quarter inch by 24 inch PVC pipe, one one and a quarter inch by 22 and three quarter inch PVC pipe, two one and a quarter inch by 10 inch PVC pipe, two one and a quarter inch by six and a half inch PVC pipe, two one and a quarter inch by five and a half inch PVC pipe, two one and a quarter inch by five and three eighths inch PVC pipe, two one and a quarter inch by four and three quarter inch PVC pipe, four one and a quarter inch by two and one eighth inch PVC pipe, four one and a quarter inch tees, and four one and a quarter inch cross tees. We will build the left and right floor rails shown here. Refer to the plans on the floor section and follow along. Start by gluing the 2 and 1 8 inch PVC pipes into the designated ends of the tees. Start at a rear cross T and dry fit a T. Use a square to establish the perpendicular. Hold the T tight against the square while holding the cross T flat on the tabletop. Place a piece of blue painter's tape on the PVC pipe and mark the alignment of the T and cross T. Use a razor and cut at the joint. Apply primer and glue to the fittings. Assemble the fittings and align the mark. Push the fittings together to make a tight fit at the joint. Check again and make sure the T is square. Work faster than the glue and make adjustments if necessary. Wipe off any excess glue with a paper towel. Glue the 10 inch PVC pipe to the T. Push and twist the PVC pipe into the T. Tap the PVC pipe with a 2x4. Wipe off any excess glue with the paper towel. Glue the next T to the 10 inch PVC pipe. Make sure the T is faced in the right direction. Push and twist the T into the PVC pipe. Tap the T with the 2x4. Hold the assembly flat down on the tabletop for 30 seconds to keep the T straight. 
Wipe off any excess glue with the paper towel. Continue assembling both rails to the front cross tees. Both rails are completed. Both rails should mirror each other. Separate the rails across from each other. Glue the 24 inch cross pipe to the rear of one rail. Make sure you face the rail in the right direction. Push and twist the cross pipe into the T. Tap the cross pipe with a 2x4. Wipe off any excess glue with a paper towel. Glue the 22 and 3 quarter inch cross pipe to the front of the rail. Push and twist the cross pipe into the T. Tap the cross pipe with a 2x4. Wipe off any excess glue with a paper towel. Glue the 24 inch cross pipe to the rear of the second rail. Make sure you face the rail in the right direction. Place the 22 and 3 quarter inch cross pipe part way into the T. Hold the rails tight together for 30 seconds. Keep the floor square when working the fit. When the glue sets, spring apart the 22 and 3 quarter inch front cross pipe. Glue the 22 and 3 quarter inch cross pipe to the front rail. Push the cross pipe into the T. Wipe off any excess glue with a paper towel. Hold the rails tight together for 30 seconds. Glue the six and a half inch PVC pipes to the rear cross tees. Push and twist the PVC pipe into the T. Tap the PVC pipe with a two by four. Glue the four and three quarter inch PVC pipes through the rear cross tees. Tap the PVC pipe with a two by four. Glue the five and three eighth inch PVC pipes to the front cross tees. Push and twist the PVC pipe into the T. Tap the PVC pipe with a 2x4. Hold the PVC pipe tight together for 30 seconds. One and a quarter inch PVC plugs. One and a quarter inch PVC reducing bushings and one and a quarter inch PVC caps will be installed later in the build process. The floor section is complete.
Be sure to watch part 5. I will build the front end and steering column. Thanks for watching.